मेन फोर गाइडलाइंस दैट यू नीड टू फॉलो आर द की ऑफ ऑक्लूजन सो की ऑफ ऑक्लूजन बेसिकली इज नथिंग बट द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द अपर एंड द लोअर टीथ सो ओवर यर दिस इज द मैग्जिला एंड दिस इज द मैंडिबल इट शुड बी रिलेटेड टू द कनाइन सो इन कनाइन की ऑफ ऑक्लूजन द डिस्टल आर्म of your lower canine it should align with the mesial arm of your upper canine so basically it will be in this manner so your mesial is touching the distal so mesial of upper and the distal of lower so this is the relationship that you need to follow for the canine now in the case of molar so it should be in this manner that means the mesiobuccal cusp of your upper molar it should coincide with the buccal groove of the lower first permanent molar the second is about the arch form so in arch form it should be such that the arrangement it will follow the arch and the symmetry should never be lost so now in this case so you'll see that when you're doing the arrangement of the teeth so you the symmetry it should be followed properly the next is about the overjet and overbite now in overjet and overbite is nothing but the vertical and the horizontal relationship so what is overjet overjet is nothing but the horizontal overlapping so you know that your uppers they are slightly ahead of your lowers so in ideal cases it should be around 2 mm in class 1 and it should be increased in class 2 and should be decreased in class 3 so now you have to remember that whenever you're doing the teeth arrangement if the patient is having a natural class 2 or class 3 you need to arrange the teeth accordingly you cannot change the class so the overjet it should be approximately 2 mm and the overbite it should be 0.5 mm in normal cases so overbite is nothing but the vertical relationship how much the lower incisor is covered by your upper incisor for example if your upper incisor is covering the lower incisor excessively so that is nothing but the deep bite so it should be this much it should cover only round about 0.5 mm and the next main guideline for arranging the teeth is the it should be arranged in such a manner that it is following in the neutral zone the neutral zone it is nothing but it is the space which is present between the lips and the cheeks on one side and tongue on the other side that area or position where the forces between the tongue and the cheeks or lips they are equal now we know when we are doing the arrangement so you don't only have the dentition you also have the soft tissues which is covering the teeth that means lingually you will have tongue buccally you will have lips and cheeks now if you are arranging the teeth too buccally now we know you have the muscles over here so you have the buccinator muscle so that buccinator muscle it will create that pressure on the denture and it will dislodge the denture if you are placing the teeth too lingually so in that case again the tongue will like exert that pressure on the denture and it will displace the denture that means you need to do the teeth arrangement such that your teeth they are in the neutral zone so this is the textbook of complete denture by dentistry made easy so this is how it looks so we are going to see how this topic is so it comes in the teeth arrangement yes so exactly the same manner we have covered the same thing in the book of complete denture so if you are interested in buying this book then you can just dm us so this table is given in winkler second edition so that was all about today's video i hope you found this helpful thank you so much